Okay, let's have a look at how we record the outcome, how we make a probability tree. So let's say that we're recording three coin tosses. Now you could, for the point of this, we're going to imagine that there are three coins going up in the air, but you could equally imagine that you're tossing one coin three times. So the first coin can either come up heads or tails. So that's, there's two possible outcomes. So by definition, that must be um, 0.5 because there's only two and they've got to add up to one. So the next th time we throw a coin, it could come up heads again or it could come up tails. And again, each one of these has a 0.5. Um, you don't have to put that in, I'm just putting it in because I figure I may as well. So after it's come up tails, again, it could come up heads or it could come up tails and you've got the same percentage just there. Now let's imagine we throw it a third time or there's a third coin in play. So heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails and heads, tails. So what I've done is I have mapped out, I'm just going to adjust the camera there, I have mapped out the possibilities of what can happen. Now I'm just giving us a different bit of view there. So what I can do is say this one here is heads, heads, heads. And I'm not going to do it now, but I could actually calculate 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 and give me the probability of that happening. So that's worth keeping in mind. So each of these has a 0.5. So we're not just making the map, we can actually calculate the possibilities here. So heads, heads, tail. So H, H, T. So those two are done. Um, heads, tail, heads. Now heads, tail, heads is actually heads, heads, tail again. Because there's two heads, one tail. So that's done. Heads, tail, tail is heads, tail, tail. So that's done. And let's go for this one. Tail, heads, heads. Yep, so that's fine. So that's actually, hang on, tail, heads, heads is actually, I'm just putting my heads first, heads, heads, tail. Tail, heads, tail is heads, tail, tail. Now, so we're getting down to this one here. Tail, tail, heads, which actually is heads, tail, tail and tail, tail, tail. So there are eight possible outcomes, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each one is actually equally likely at this point, but some of them are the same. So each one can be expressed, and I'll just check how we're going for page. We're actually going pretty well here. Each one has a one in eight chance of happening. And in fact, I may as well put them in. Ignore that, that's one in eight. So one in eight, all the way down. Actually, I wonder if that's true. I guess it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the math later, but I think that's true. So, yeah, because it's one in two by one in two, so that's a half a chance, a one over two, a one over four, a one over eight chance of happening. But, so, HHH, just checking that I've got enough in here, HHH has a one in eight chance of happening. So that's done. TTT has a one in eight chance of happening. So that's done. Now, HTT, HTT actually has a two in eight chance of happening because it happens here and it happens here. So HTT is in fact has a two in eight or a one in four chance of happening. So they're done. HHT is here and here and here. Isn't that interesting? HHT actually has a 3 in 8. HHT has a 3 in 8. HHT, HHT, HHT. Ah, this is why. 3 in 8. And in fact, I've missed this stray HTT. So that has a 3 in 8 as well. So in fact, there are only four possible outcomes. One is all heads, and that's the unlikely. Heads, heads, tail is a three in eight chance. So between those, it's a four in eight chance. 
Heads tail tail is a 3 in 8 chance and to bring it up to a one, an 8 in 8 chance is tail tail tail. So there you go. This is how we map out all of the possibilities and how we can work out how likely each of them is. So if I was betting on the outcome of tossing a coin three times, I'm probably going to bet on heads tail tail or heads heads tail because they are more likely than the other two. But this is how you map it out. You could do this for dice, you could do this for cards. I hope this has been useful.